Well, I think the truth is that there are different pieces of the economy and some are doing exceptionally well. I mean, we've seen the tourism sector respond very positively to the incentives and we're winning back tourists. Uh, equally, international investment is very strong. Last year, the IDA had the best year for 10 years and that momentum has been maintained into this year. And I think that will continue. And we're seeing ICT having a wonderful, you know, the whole technology sector doing exceptionally well. But other parts of the economy, of course, continue to have a very difficult year. And 2012 will be, continue to be difficult because you know, of people's income pressures, debt pressures, and so on. But I think what we have to do is build on those positive transformations in the economy and strengthen our export sector, strengthen the sectors that can build outside the, 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 the narrow domestic market. And as they build, they will lift all ships. Well, I think it will certainly be at a, a very high level and international confidence has come back w in huge waves into the Irish economy. People feel that we are an economy that has knuckled down to our problems, our, that's reflected in cheaper cost of money and so on. So internationally, I think Ireland is seen as you know, a doughty warrior getting on with the business that needs to be done. But clearly, you know, there's other sections of the economy and even a strong international sector still has you know we have difficult issues to face and one of the things we have to do is to make sure that you know startup companies that it's easy to start up that we don't have obstacles in the way that we don't have the banking system holding back businesses that have opportunities so there's loads of work to be done in bet creating a better environment for people to to set up to internationalize and so on But they're saying, I mean, they're saying that Ireland has immediately recognised the problems and set about fixing them. And a lot of them look at their own sectors where you know there's political log jams and there's no consensus about what needs to be done, and that's holding back progress. Ireland, at least, the voters made a decision. They put a strong government in place with a big majority, and we're getting on with the job. It's not easy. It's difficult. People don't like some of the things that are having to be done. But I think internationally, people look in and say, well, you know, they're getting to grips with their problems. And you know, that's reflected in the international investment, in the better bond yields and so on. You know, there is a broad base of, of recognition that you know, Ireland is now a good place to do business. Well, I, I think you know, if you look back 12 months ago, you know, we were in a situation where our interest burden was far greater than it is now. We've negotiated that down by 10 billion. We have you know, already seen negotiations change, the shape of negotiations on the, the promissory note change. It's not Ireland just looking to see could something be done. Now we have the EU, the IMF and the ECB together developing a paper as to how that debt burden could be made easier. So I think there, there is real progress being made, but you know, it, it, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. We're going to have to you know, keep plodding on through those difficult negotiations and I think that one of Michael Noonan's strengths. You know, he is a long game player. You know, he's he's very adroit in the way he plays his cards and I think we're seeing the fruits of that approach that he's adopted.